Hi everyone, it's Eric from ecopman12.blogspot.com and welcome to my video on showing you how to speed up the performance of your Nexus 7. Now I'm just going to quickly cover the previous method that many people know of, is if you go into Google Currents, and then if you just go into Settings, and Background Sync is enabled, but you just tap it and disable it. That, they say that will improve the performance of your Nexus 7. It did the first time I did it, but eventually there's still some lag going on when I'm actually swiping between screens and stuff and doing various other things. And that's the problem with many people that they think of the Nexus 7. It's not very responsive anymore as it used to be when we first got it. Well, I think I'll be able to solve this problem for you, and not just for the Nexus 7, but for many other devices as well that say I've, uh, you know, sort of come like the Galaxy S2 or the HTC Desire S that have sort of uh, been slower and not as uh, uh, fast performing as they used to be. So what you want to get is an app called Forever Gone. I've put it in my taskbar right over here. Now Forever Gone it says SD card cleaner and if you haven't got an SD card it'll just clean the uh, internal storage of your device. So what you're basically going to have to do this basically if you've uh, had a Windows computer and you've defragmented the computer that's what this basically does so you've been delete you've been uh, installing many things deleting many things you think it's de deleted all the information but it's not there are little bits of scattered information still on your Nexus 7 that can slow it down and it's quite a lot of mess and on your Nexus 7 it's really quite a bit messy and not just your Nexus 7 many other tablet devices or your mobile phones as well so what you want to do is click clean free space now we'll do that, it'll try filling up all the space with the, the sort of files that this um, Forever Gone app has got. And then it's going to release it once it's done the whole process. Now I'm going to just stop it because I've already done it. When you're done you press release fill space. And seriously, literally that's all it takes. It'll just highlight, it'll stay like that for a few seconds. Then that will go to standby, you're done. You have to go back to the home screen. You have to turn your device off. Now you must do this because I didn't the first time when it was not as responsive. I had to do it again. Power off, shut down, wait for it to shut down, and then you're going to want to power it back on. And once you power it back on, you will notice a big difference in terms of actual responsiveness with your devices. Now, while that's powering off and while I'm going to power it back on in a minute, this is my HTC Desire S. Let's just power this back on. And my HTC Desire S, I've done the same thing on this once it worked great on my Nexus 7. And my Desire S really was quite slow. It was lagging quite a lot. It was lagging really quite a lot. So I basically just did this and it works much better. So where I'm swiping between screens, it's uh, much smoother. Where I'm just going through the app drawer, it's significantly smoother. When I'm just swiping between these, it's a lot more responsive. I wonder if I want to add a widget. Next seven still loading. If I want to add a widget, as you can see, it's just gone to it very, very quickly. As quick scrolling, if I want to just swipe between these different sections of the personalized setting on the HTC phones, I can do it. As you can see, it's all very, very fast. It's worked wonders on my Desire S, and it's worked great on my Nexus 7 too. And I really hope it works well for you guys as well. So let's actually unlock it. Now I've got some other stuff running aside from that. I'm rooted, I'm using a set CPU for root users, I've overclocked the processor. A few things will have to fall into place before mine actually responds as good uh, as good because it's got quite a few more things loading up. Now you don't have to be rooted in order to do this because uh, I, for my test when I was actually not rooted it actually worked very very well. So as you can see my device is all uh, kept up now. And there you go, works great. Let's go into the Play Store, and I want to quickly show you that right now. Forever gone. There is SD card cleaner. Now, from my what I actually found out for myself, I'm not sure. I think I, I was not rooted when I actually did this. You might want to actually have a quick look yourself, see if this will support your device before you actually do it. But it shouldn't cause any harm to your device. But I wasn't rooted when I actually did this and it worked fine. A uh, couple updates did come before then. As you can see, the latest one was at 17th of January, which was uh, a few days ago. So a few updates have come by then, but this is a great app. Only 148 kilobytes. It's not a big file or anything. This worked great. It worked wonders. It really uh, increased the performance of my Nexus 7. It made it feel like it did back when I got it on day one, which is not what I can say for the performance that happened later on. 
So the performance of the Nexus 7 right now on my Nexus 7 is absolutely great. It started uh, lagging quite a lot and I really hope this fixes your guys' problems. As you can see, if I just tap onto the multitasking, it will instantly happen. There's no sort of, there's no lag, there's very, very smooth when it does it. If I go back to the home screen, see, instant. Absolutely great. So, I hope that really helped you out, and uh, like I said, the app is called Forever Gone. I really hope it will speed up your device, not only your Nexus 7, as I said, this will work on other devices. It worked on my Desire S, and you don't have to be rooted. My Desire S is not rooted, yet it still worked great. I tried it on this one, my uh, Nexus 7 was not rooted, and it worked great as well. So, definitely give it a try, and post down in the comments below, and let me know what you thought of this. And if you have found something else that will also help speed up our devices as well, as I said, no route for this. You can go try it out on any Android device. Really speeds up the phone. I did this for my friend on his HTC Desire. It speeded up his it speeded up his phone in performance. So, thank you guys very much for watching. This has been Eric from ecartman 12blogspotcom Please thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see more videos on how to make your Android devices faster, or what cool stuff you could do with your Nexus 7 whilst it's rooted, then, like I said, please do subscribe. You won't regret it. Thanks for watching. I'll see all of you in the next video.